Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now let's take a look at inserting word art. Word art is a feature that allows you to quickly and easily insert wonderfully formatted text with some features and designs that normally you couldn't do yourself. To do this, click the Word Art Frame Tool button on the object's toolbar. Then, click and drag over the area in your publication you want the word art to cover. When you release your mouse button, your publisher screen changes somewhat and you get a small text box that says enter your text here. The first thing you need to do is enter the text you want the word art to display. Then you can click update display. Now let's take a look at the toolbar across the top of the word art window. At the far left we have the shape drop-down. You can click that drop-down menu and choose a shape that you want your text to take. Next to the shape drop-down we have the font drop-down. Here we can choose any font we'd like. And next to the font drop-down we have the font size drop-down. By default this is set to best fit and for the best result you should use this setting. But if you need to, you can choose a different font. With our next button over, we can make our text bold. Next to that we can make our text italic. Next to that we have the same height button. We can use this button to make all of our letters the same height when we have some capital and some lowercase letters. The next button is the flip button. This can be used to turn your letters on their side or turn the whole word on its side. Notice how once you click that the text runs from the top of the frame to the bottom. The next button over is the stretch button. This will make your text stretch as wide as it needs to be to fill the frame. The next button is the alignment button. If you give that a click you'll see your alignment choices center, left, right, and three versions of justification. The next button is the character spacing button. Here we have some options much like those that we saw in the character spacing dialog box earlier on in the tutorial. We've got options for very tight, tight, normal, loose, very loose, and a custom setting that you can make on your own. Once you choose one of these settings, click OK to apply it. The next button over is the special effects button. This opens the special effects dialog box that lets you apply rotation and increase or decrease the magnitude of the effect of the shape you chose from the drop down menu at the left side of the word art toolbar. Notice as I click the up arrow for slider, the right end of my text is getting narrower and narrower and as I click the down button my effect is decreased. You can apply rotation to really customize your word art. Once you're done here click OK to apply the settings. The next button over is the shading button. This button allows you to choose a solid color or a pattern to be applied to your letters. You can choose a foreground and a background color if you're using a pattern. You can then click OK to apply any changes. The next button is the shadow button. This will allow you to apply some sort of shadowing to your text. You can click through each of the options to see the way it will look if you apply that shadow.
Once you see one you like, you can also change the color of the shadow. When you're ready, click OK to apply the changes. The last button is the Line Thickness button. This can be used to increase or decrease the thickness of the border around the letters of your word art, or remove them altogether by selecting None. If you make your border too wide, you may not be able to read your text. You can also change the color of your border. Click OK to apply your changes. When you have made all of the changes you want to make, click anywhere in your publication outside of the text box where you put your word art. This will return your publisher screen to its normal view and your word art will be inserted. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.